Good morning, everyone, <laughs> and woke up like this. Hilamos lang, and you know me. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy weekend, and I mean, happy Monday. And kamus na weekend nyo. Right. Good morning to my daughter, like ah. And yun lang yun nintay niya yung good morning ko. And good morning sa inyo. Um, let me see. How, how come the chats are not coming out? Right, it should be coming out. Chat box. Ayon, malabas na ang chats. Right, that's doing well. Um, ano ba? Um. Napaganda ng week na ito. This Friday is my birthday, so I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm look. I'm thinking of something. Ano pa yapa ding ibigay ko sa public. I think magse seminar ako. Um, ng basics ulit dito sa Facebook. Most probably this weekend, and I'm still planning that out. But meron pa ako ng ibibigay sa inyo. And anyways, ayon. Um, yun ano ba? Um, what we're gonna be talking about today is the um magwo walk through lang ako sa. Call Financial Platform. Kasi marami pa rin newbies naman dyan na hindi pa rin alam ang Call Financial. Hindi pa nila nakikita kasi iba yung platform na sinimula nila. Baka BDO ang ginamit ninyo, baka BPI or uh, First Metro. At least pagkita ko po sa inyo ang platform ng Call. Um, on my seminars, I do rec- uh, nag-recommend din ako ng Call. Especially for those investors, mga gusto mag-invest lang. It's still very good. Maganda pa rin naman ang call, right? Um, nagkaroon lang sila ng mga issues last um, February. Eh, um, minsan rin ngayon, may, uh, nagkaka-issue rin about the lag. But that's just, that was because of the traffic. They were, they were expecting the traffic. We'll talk about more about that in a while. If you just watch the replay of the video, kindly go to uh, 25 minutes. Um, that's where we start the discussion officially. Before that, I'm gonna be reading the comments na mga tao. If you have any questions, my recommendations for today, we're gonna be discussing that after. And ang ganda, na, ang ganda po ng market. We're gonna be discussing about this, um, PSEI, the index. Uh, my recommendations, ang dami po natin marereko ngayon kasi sobrang ganda ng market. Right? But before that, please kindly share the video. Pakishare po ang video sa Facebook walls ninyo and to your trading groups. Pakishare po so that 
um, marami pa pong newbies ang maka uh, panood uh, at mag-guide na natin sa program ito. I've been receiving so many messages um, from newbies who are watching the Billionaires Club and they are saying that their ports are so much better now. Kahit hindi po sila nag-seminar sa akin. At least sa daily grind man lang nakakatulong ako. So that's what keeps me going. And sana uh, pakishare po. That's my request in return. Yan lang. And um, birthday gift nyo na sa akin yan. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I'm gonna go to the comments now. Yan, nakikita na yung mga comments. Alright, Ranulfo, where is the smiling buntag coach and like? Good morning, Ranulfo. Ben Monida. Uh, Maneda. Let me just double check my audio, guys. Okay? Traffic. Ayun, okay naman ang audio. Um, ben Moneda, hello. Good morning. Ayan, Joel Ligares. Good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika. Joel, yan. Very consistent na taga-subaybay natin si Joel. Good morning, Joel. Bull and Bear. Good day, Coach. Uh, Patrick Ian Ortega. Good morning. Bell Carts. Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning. Roger Aguilar. Good morning. Bogs from Singapore. Uy, si Bogs. Ayan. Bogs just sent me a message sa ano natin, sa Discord. And he's very, uh, his, his sport is doing well now. Good job, Bogs. Keep it up, right? Um, He's been watching the daily grind also. And, and nag-improve na yung port niya. So, I'm, I'm happy that is, um, I hope you're the Bogs that sent me a message. But yeah, um, good morning. Uh, good job, support mo, Bogs. James, good morning, sir. Yan, good morning then. Um, Neil Bersamin, good morning. Ben Mun- Neda, sir, may ask, uh, may ask your insights about IDC and PX. Thank you. I'll write these down. So nga pala, ilagay ko na, 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 ilagay ko na rin ang uh, recommendations ko for today. I'm gonna write down IDC and PX. Yan, PX, masyadong mataas na si PX. Eh. Pa-pullback na yan. So, stay away from it. Uh, let me put my uh, recommendations yan. Yan po yung recommendations ko today. Medyo marami kasi sobrang ganda ng market. Right? PIP, ABSP, CHIB, PCOR, EEI, PLC, MWide, Ferro, and URC. Pili lang kayo dyan. We're, go- we're gonna be discussing the technical analysis behind these recommendations later. And then din si AEV and RLC on breakout. Ang tayo po yung breakout ng dalawang yan. These positions are really looking good. So we'll we'll talk about these in a while. Kasel, John Visaya, good, mor- good morning Sir Lloyd. Pasuyo po ng AG, SCC, TEL. AC and Meg. Alright, so ACC has been showing us good signals. Alright, tingnan natin yung mga yan mamaya. Alright, Bunny Laagan. Laagan, yes. Bunny Laagan. Yan, good morning. Uh, Joseph Lawrence, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Davao. Yan, good morning sa mga kapatid natin nasa Davao. Joseph, good morning. Um, R. Leo, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Uh, Wilmera Can- Canete. Canete. Um, good morning, everyone, and Sir Lloyd. Thanks, uh, thanks God, it's Monday already. Yes, good luck sa lahat for today's trading from Dubai. Time check 4 in the morning. Grabe ang mga kapatid nating OFW sa Dubai. Yung mga nasa UAE, um, gumigising ng alas 4 ng umaga para sa daily grind at sa market. Diba? Mag, mag-open na stock market mamaya. So, mabuhay po kayo. Right, good job na um, you're putting your money, uh, uh, you're investing your money. Right? Um, Kevin Wu, good morning sir. IS po. I'll write this down. IS. One moment, please. Notepad ko. Nakaka-problema. Right. IS. IS. Yun. Um, that's from Kevin Wu. Adelaida Balaag. Blessed morning, Sir Lloyd and family. Good morning, Daran Boa. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. First day. May, may link ka sa video interview mo, Sir Lloyd. <laughs> may link ba ako sa video interview ko? I think na-post yan sa Billionaires Club. Sige, um... I don't really wanna post it kasi parang inaano ko yung sarili ko. But yeah, um, nasa ABS-CBN yun. <laughs> Wait. Anyways, um, Chris Leyesa, good morning. Um, Chelly, w- sige, ano ko na lang, i-message ko sa'yo, Daran. Right? Um, Chelly W, blessed morning to all. And one moment please, ang ingin ng mga aso ko. And sorry about that. <laughs> Roger Aguilar, hopefully gain ulit si ISM today. Patiently waiting for SMC recovery. Yes, si ISM looking good. Right? Nag-breakout sa immediate uh, resistance. Yeah, let's open up ISM. O nga pala guys, um, if you're a newbie, you just watched the, uh, you haven't joined the chat room yet. Join the chat room. This is our chat room. This is by Discord. And um, this is using Discord. Download Discord po. And down on the video description. Yan, sa video description, hanapin nyo po sa baba. Uh, look for the Discord invite link. May link dyan. Once you have downloaded Discord, i-click nyo yung link automatically. Makapasok po kayo dito. This is free. 
uh, this is a good community nagtutulungan po dito may mga kulitan minsan may mga may mga natural naman sa grupo yan may mga away-away minsan but as much as possible we control that but yeah that's life in the name nagpapa colorful ng life na ng chat room eh di ba so yeah this is a very uh, this is a regulated chat room wala, wala pong mga hype dito sa inyo Meron man minsan papagalitan namin yan, right? <laughs> so yeah, um, join the chat room. This will be he- very helpful for the newbies. Um, yun, uh, asan ako? So let's check out ISM, right? Let me zoom in para mas maklaro yung numbers. And ayan, ISM. Yan si ISM nag-break out sa immediate resistance niya. Immediate resistance niya was here. So we're already seeing a higher high, right? So let me zoom in. So this uh, these are this is the previous high. This is a higher high, right? So this is good, right? Um, pag nag pull back ito at nag bounce na mas mataas, that's on a slow uptrend already. This is good for us, uh, ISM, and that was backed up by uh, a much healthier volume. So and break out sa ISM. Um, Nag-touch na ng upper Bollinger Band, so baka lumipad na yan. You can use a breakout strategy if you want to get in ISM, right? So, let's go back. Um, SMC naman, yeah. Uh, SMC, antayin nyo lang po yung bounce ng SMC. I've, I've recommended a- SMC last Friday. Wait for the bounce, pero wala pang bounce. So, abang lang muna tayo. Uh, Re- Roselov, Luzon. Tingnan ko nga ulit si SMC. Bakit walang bounce pa yun? Diba nag-antay tayo ng bounce last ano? trading day January 4 yan so yan um Bernadette Abiog yan good morning sir Lloyd happy new year good morning to my daughter Jasmine hey, hi Jasmine good morning Blaze Fernandez DD po double dragon so tingnan natin si dragon uy lumalabas yung chat um, lumalabas pala yung chat while we are ano charting ayun so i think let me let me let me adjust this really quick right i think ang problema nito was Ayan. Ganyan yan dapat eh. And then, yung mukha ko. Sorry. Dapat yung mukha ko. Give me one moment. I-fix ko lang ito. Uh, nasira ko pala ito during my seminar over the weekend. So, let me just re- fix this really quick. Ayan. Lipat ko mukha ko dito. And then, ayan. Ang mga, mga sponsors natin. And ayon, so much better now, right? So pasensya na, I had to fix that. Ginamit ko kasi ito um, on my weekend seminar, and I usually do not put uh, logos on my weekend seminars. All right, going back, ayan, Bernadette, um, Didi po from Blaze Fernandez, yes, si Didi lumilipad na. Alright, so let's check out Didi again. Ulit, sabi ko sa inyo, posisyonan nyo na na yan, doon pa eh, di ba? So, lumipad na. Lawrence Basilio, good morning po. Um, any insights po on JFC, MPI, and ISM? Si JFC, medyo mataas na. Nag-all-time high last Thursday. So, good job sa mga pumasok kay Jollibee. Ayan, congrats sa inyo. Um, especially those na pumasok sa recommendation natin noon. Nag-double bottom si Jollibee. Laki na ng panalo ninyo. MPI and ISM, let's check out these uh, charts in a while. Ayan. Oops, sorry. SEC. Meg, sorry. JFC, MPI. Si MPI, um, nag-umpisa ng gumalaw eh. Right, so. Let's check these out in a while. Ido Almo, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Happy, uh, happy prosperous New Year sa ating lahat. Happy New Year sa iyo, Ido. Right, good morning. Kasel, John Visaya. Sir, pasuyo din po ng PCOR. SMC, actually, PCOR is in my recommendations today. CLI, sige, sulat natin si CLI. CLI has been doing well um, after that downfall. Yun, ganda sana mag-average down nun. I've been recommending CLI. Sabi ko sa inyo, mag-bodega kayo niyan kay CLI. It's one of the good companies dito and very positioned well. When federalism comes, I tell you guys, ang ganda ng position already ni Sibulan Masters. Right? So, bodega ng Sibulan Masters on the dip. Ngayon, umaakyat siya. So, wag nyo muna bilhin yan. Mamaya na pag nag-dip na naman yan. Bobby Dong, Don Galio. Ayan, good morning. Richard Cabico. CHP and Food po, sir. I'll write these down. CHP and Food. Ayan, tingnan natin yan. Hops, sir, requests um, po ng charts ng for Popey. Primex, EWPHA, SCC, MPI, super thanks. Alright, si Popey, Primex, EW, 
PHA and SEC, right? These are good. Uy, guys, si CPG, sabi ko sa inyo, magbodega kayo dyan. Um, tahimik lang si CPG. Pero, nag a trend na yan, guys, ha? MA20, bounce, MA, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, Bollinger Band Trigger, MA20, bounce, and ayan na naman, nag-Bollinger Band Trigger na naman. CPG is already on an uptrend. So, I hope, nakapag-bodega po kayo. I've been telling you, um, been recommending to you for you to get into CPG. This is looking well. So, nag a uptrend na yan si CPG. So, hopefully, this continues. So, hopefully, nakapag-average down kay dyan kay CPG. Right? So, CPG has been doing well lately. Um, yung charts niya. Um, good morning, Lloyd. Pwede ba, uh, Sir Lloyd, pwede bang mag-test by kay SMC today? Lumapit na kasi sa MA20. Bakit, um, Bakit parang hindi gumalaw yung SMC ko ah. Um, M SMC, ayun. Ito, this is the chart of SMC. Um, antay nyo lang po yung bounce. Pwede kayo mag-test by pag nag-bounce yan. That will be confirming a support kay SMC. Look at this right here. Ayan, si SMC. Wait for the bounce. Um, pag nag-bounce yan, this is a good support. We have an engulfing pattern. So, that is a very good position for SMC. Na-touch niya yung 20 eh, diba? So, this was a good bottom. Um, hopefully, mag-bounce yan. Pag nag-bounce yan, pwede, I will say, yes, try to test buy. Right? Pwede natin i-test buy yan si SMC pag nag-bounce yan. Alright. Um, Jerome Gamboa. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Coach Lloyd and Laika. Picor and PIP, please. Actually, uy, very good picks. One of my students getting better. Jerome. Picor and PIP is in my picks for today. Right? Anilin, good AM, CEI, sir. Thanks. Let's write down CEI. Actually, guys, um, yung majority of my picks, um, kalahati ng picks ko na yan, uh, sa, uh, recommended yan ng mga students ko over the weekend. I had a class this weekend. Part of the part part of the workshop is creating their picks technical analysis wise and they're getting better. So gumagaling na yung technical analysis na I told them that their technical analysis is now daily grind quality, di ba? So very good picks already. So if you want to learn how to do these things um just join the seminar i have a seminar this weekend saturday and sunday 8 oh no 9 in the morning send me a message if you want to join that maglalabas rin ako ng poster about that so yun lang muna ang seminar na i-announce ko i'm still working on the sinulog seminar and the um i have a manila seminar again by the end of the month so um tinatrabaho ko pa po so i'll let you know uh, I'm, I'm talking to sponsors so as much as possible para maging Mura po yung seminar. So, yun, uh, we'll make that happen. Emer Labau, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Si CEI, nasulat ko na for Annie Lynn. Eh, diba? So, daanan natin yan mamaya, Annie. Um, Dave Guapo Daddy, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. And to my wife, Flory, watching from South Korea. Good morning sa inyo, investor. Sandy, hi, Sir Lloyd. Been, I've been trying to study your strategy. Pacheck naman po ng picks ko. Picor, ayan. Picor, ABSP. Ayan. Uy, si ABSP and Picor is in my picks for today. And M-wide. Alright, so three of your picks uh, has been, has matched my, uh, has matched my technical analysis. This is AGI and BMM. Tignan natin, right? So, yeah, I, uh, you saw my uh, recommendations already. Andyan si M-Wide, andyan si PIP, uh, andyan si P-Core, and andyan si ABSP for my picks for today. So, good job, Investor Sandy. Let's check out your chart, uh, your, yung mga tinitignan mo mamaya. Morning, sir. Ali, please, and I am I. Si Ali, medyo mataas na eh, right? But let's check out the uh, chart of Ali pa rin. And I am I. Yan. Um, Gorley, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Shell PH po. S-H-L-P-H. So, Shell is okay. Jovi Tanayel, good morning, Sir Lloyd. ABS, yun, si ABS. Last week ko yata na-recommend yun si ABS. I created, uh, sabi ko sa inyo, during that daily grind na, ano yung sabi ko, um, parang week ni ABS-CBN to. Eh. So, ABS has been star uh, starting to solidify. Umaganda na, umiakit ka. So, let's check out. Kamusahin natin si ABS. Ni-recommend ko yung mga ABS-CBN stocks to. Eh. FGEN, and FGEN, ABA. Si FGEN, nag-ascending triangle yun, ang nag-flag pattern. So, nag-breakout si FGEN kahapon. So, that was very good. ABA, IRC, and IDC. So, so kamusahin natin si IRC. Gumagalaw na rin si IRC. Si IDC, I wrote that down already. I believe so. I'll just write it down again. Just, ayun, ah, pinakauna pa rin si IDC. Ayan, so, IDC is here. RJ Abracosa. Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Advance. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Hops. Uh, Sir Intact. 
pa din 100k shares niyo sa ISM. Ano po comments niyo sa article na ang sabi na si Dennis Uy is growing too fast for his own good. Um, actually, uh, yeah, very good, very, very good question. Ops, yes, intact pa rin ang ISM ko. Why am I holding ISM? If maging yudena na sila, wala pa rin fundamentals yan. Why am I confident na ISM will be doing well? Remember, partner nila sa China Tel, right? So, so most of uh, most of the works, si China Tel ang magpapilot niyan. ISM and Udena, kalahat hati-hati yung ayan eh. Mas malaki pa nga yung part ni ISM over, I mean, ni China Tel overall eh. So, I, China Tel, ang laki po ng investment ni China Tel dyan, it won't allow the project to fail. China has been named one of the best telco. So, experience-wise, I'm not afraid of China Tel when it comes to delivery. Right? So, I'm confident that Udena's project with the third telco is gonna be, uh, is gonna be, what they call this, is gonna be doing well. Yet, ginamit, ang, ang alam ko nga lang is, ginamit lang nila si Dennis Uy para maka-project maka pa rin sila. Hindi ba? Remember, dati ayaw nila na may partner sila si China Tel. They were planning to bid pero ayaw nila may partner sila Filipino. They wanna solely own the, the project. But hindi pwede. So, yun, si De Dennis Uy ang nakakuha but majority of the stake is still on China Tel so I'm confident that yung third tel ko it's gonna be doing well right kasi China Tel ang nag nagbabackup niyan right magdadalawang isip ako kung mga mediocre na mga uh, na mga tel ko ang mag 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 pa project niyan but that's China Tel that's one of the best tel ko uh, uh, in the world so I'm confident that they will be able to deliver number two is yun yung yung article about Dennis Oi is growing too fast for his own good. I don't think so. I don't think that's true. His, si Dennis Uy, yes, lumalaki ang net worth niya. Dumadami ang projects. But, I tell you guys, it's not, it's not Dennis Uy who will be, uh, who will be running these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, these projects. Mayroon yung mga managers, guys. So, trust me, um, uh, malaki ang chance na he's gonna be doing well. I talked to my insider about Tugo, right? Um, in Tugo, right? Um, Dennis Uy is planning to uh, sell his CLC is planning to buy two goals. Let's discuss about that while my oras pa naman. Right, so ang ganda ng project, right? Uh, it's not just a simple acquisition, right? Ang problem, ang problem kasi ng logistics dati is um, ang mga shipment from, Cebu, um, from Manila to Mindanao is very costly, it's very inefficient. It's very inefficient from Manila to, Mi to Mindanao. Kasi um, um, ang barko from Manila pupunta ng mga Visayas area to deliver the shipments and then meron pa silang matitira for Mindanao so ihahatid ulit nila sa Mindanao. What happens is pag hinatid nila sa Mindanao konti na lang ang laman ng mga barko ni uh, ng, ng mga ng mga shipments sa Manila especially kay Tugo right from Manila, uh, Manila to Mindanao. Pag pumunta ng Mindanao yan, it's very inefficient for them, very cost inefficient kasi konti na lang ang sakay ng barko papunta uh, pa, para ma-deliver nila ang shipment from Manila to Mindanao. So I hope that's clear. Um CLC's acquisition of Tugo, if matutuloy man yan. They told me the strategy. Ganito ang gagawin nila. From Manila to Cebu, babagsak na lahat ng shipment. And CLC owns TransAsia. So, si TransAsia ngayon ang magbibitbit ng mga shipment from Cebu to Mindanao. And that, that's a normal route of TransAsia. Um, Cebu to Mindanao, laging puno yan. So, with this strategy, mas efficient ang pagbunta ng, um, ng barko ng Tugo to Cebu. And then, from Cebu to Mindanao, transfer na sa TransAsia. So, efficient mas efficient na on both ways. So, from Manila to Mindanao, nahatid nila yung shipment very efficiently. So, it's very good for the business. So, it's very strategic. Um, bumili ba ko sa, mar, uh, sa, sa, sa business strategy na ginawa ni, ni CLC when they, they, when they, if they acquire Tugo. So, that's very good for Tugo. That's why I've recommended Tugo sa chat room uh, once I knew the, the plan. Right? Um, it's 8.40. Um, Rose, Rose Love, Luzon, TBGI. Right? So, um, let's see. Uh, Dennis Uy is not just buying these companies randomly. It's very strategic for him. PXP binili niya. Bakit? May f may <laughs> may ano siya? May Phoenix siya, di ba? So 
it's strategic for him strategic for him to buy this company um sino pa ba mga binili niya right arami pa right well we can discuss many uh many things about that in the future but i tell you it's these acquisitions are very good hindi basta-basta siya bumibili and he's backed up by by SM right by Henry C right yung loans niya most probably um most probably ang new loans niya is regalo yan so maliit po yung babayaran niya That's number two, there's a rumor that says Henry C right SMPH kum- kumukonti yung sales nila so may problema sa sales nila it's not really a problem now but it's a foreseen problem kasi online na ang shopping ng mga tao Lazada etc di ba so real let's reality check SMC is threatened by that so ang plano sana ni I mean, not SMC SMC tiyo ni isip ko so Henry C ang plano ni Henry C sana was to make uh uh to uh what do you call this ano shipping pala yung ano plano kanina from for to go to Cebu anyways um SM is planning was planning to make a ship a uh, logistics company para kung mag online shopping sila magbobodega na lang sila ng mga gamit deliver deliver na lang so it was uh, this is uh, this is this was their plan and the rumor is Henry C kay partner na lang siya kay um kay Dennis Uy Dennis Uy is gonna be buying to go so andun na yung log- may logistics arm ang to go so dun na lang yun na lang ang gagamitin ni SM so it's still gotta be a very big, big project eh, very very strategic ito mga acquisitions ni ni Henry C, ni Henry C, ni Dennis Uy right so um, hindi ko gaanong na organize itong thought na ito when I delivered it to you so medyo magulo uh, it was sudden right because of the question of hops eh. but anyways yes this is I tell you guys, very strategic yung mga ginagawa naman ni 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 Dennis Uy. Hindi naman siya basta bili ng ng bili na walang uh, hindi siya uh, hindi niya alam ang ginagawa niya. So, yeah, um I think it's not gonna be bad for Dennis Uy. Yun lang yung loans ang concern, but very grabe, grabe ang planting of seeds ngayon ni Dennis Uy. Right? Si CLC, ninyo pa nakikita yung numbers niyan, but I'm gonna be recommending CLC, guys. Ang ganda ng projects ni CLC. Uh, si Tugo, mahihila dyan. So, that's why I recommended CLC yesterday. Uh, when I realized na ang ganda pala ng ginagawa ni CLC ngayon, yung Davao na port, bibilhin pa nila. So, grabe. Hindi lang basta-basta acquisitions yon. Those are in line with his businesses, right? So, walang problem doon, right? These are very strategic uh, developments of Dennis Uy, right? Anyways, let's continue. Ido Almo, pasilip na pala ng mangyayari sa food and APX. Nag-travel pa ako pa uwi, watching through phone and food and APX. Let's write this down. So, last lang muna ito. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to, ano, baka may nag-comment about doon sa mga ginagawa ni... Uh, ni Dennis Uy. Hi Sir Lloyd, paano mo best enter your stock picks? Usually mag-order na po at market open or best hintayin end of the day bago pumasok. This is from Gad. Uh, JC, right? Um, I recommend at around 11 o'clock if you see a good bounce, pumasok na kayo. If it's backed up by volume, pumasok na kayo. You don't have to wait EOD, especially on this market na bullish naman ang market. You can be aggressive here. Kung bearish yung market, yes, pwede mag-EOD. But this is a bullish market. Maka magliparan yan kaagad. So, I will recommend you can be aggressive. Anyways, low risk pa naman yung mga positions na mga binibigay ko sa inyo. Excuse me. Um, um, good morning, sir. What are your thoughts on BX? Good morning, X. Uh, uh, good morning, sir Lloyd. Nabili ko si ISM 6.37 PHP. Pag umabot ng 8 before mag-change to ng Udena, take profits na po ba ako or hold? Ano mangyayari? I will recommend you guys take profits. Mag-sell half kayo, right? Just sell half para wag, wag mo naman masayang. Secure your profits. Let the other half ride. Yes, it's gonna be... Uh, ISM, I'm recommending ISM for long term pa kasi eh. So, long term pa yan, medyo matagalan pa yan. So, if you want to take profits, you can sell half para at least mabawasan yung greed ninyo. Right? So, yan. Um, Sir Lloyd, morning. What's your insights on TBG? I'll write that down. Sir, gawa ka ng video about uh, ng live, gawa kayo ng video ng live trading um, from ciento por ciento. Right, uh, that was my plan before. But right now, hindi na kasi ako nag, 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 ano eh, nag, nag, 
nag what they call this nag i-intra day trade din nag, hindi na ako nagde day trade so it's really boring for me if nakita niyo yung background ko yan laptop na yan games lang yan kasi while trading while nanonood ako ng market actually naka position na ako eh so if i'm on the position already hindi ako nagbebenta bili hindi ako hindi ako ganun na trader i'm not a day trader anymore position trader lang ako so it's really not really that um yeah, during the market trading time I'm not really that busy, right? Kasi naka-position lang ako. Anyways, um, sir to go please, salamat. I just, this is from Tristan. Uh, yan, binigay ko na po sa inyo yung details. Bakit ko po nire-recommend sa to go. With the new trend of online buying and delivery, yes, logistics will be one of the major trends in the future. Even food companies will be doing it as well. Yes, totoo yan, Jan, Angel, Ekano. So it's very strategic. Napaka-strategic po ng ginagawa ni CLC right now. So that's why I'm I'm recommending them. Ayan, um, Yon, so let's go to our topic for today. Uh, just for the newbies, er, alam ko meron sa inyo na meron ng mga call financial din. Um, so you're familiar with the platform already. So just in case you are not, alright, I'm gonna open my call financial account. Here it is. And let's start with the topic. Before that, we want to thank our sponsors, Two Trade Asia. Alright, I know, uh, major conflict yung sponsor ko and everything, but uh, Two Trade Asia has been very supportive for us. Um, they're not just Oh, sorry they're not just uh what they call this they're not just uh into this for trading but they they are supporting us for our financial literacy na uh goal right so thank you so much to trade asia Ayun, um also isa pa isang sponsor mag thank you din tayo sa eToro very very important to say thank you to everyone eToro guys check out eToro um, meron pong link dyan sa this video description. That's my eToro uh, link. Uh, please. And uh, what they call this? Uh, join using that link. Create an account. Libre lang po mag-create ng account. So, at least makagawa kayo ng, uh, makagawa kayo ng uh, account. Yeah. So, my eToro account. Today, I'm earning $26 already for this for this position ko kay Google at pumasok po ako kay Google kasi napakaganda po ng chart niya right it's already at it has already dipped at the bottom right so yun um oh, sorry so let me zoom out so napakaganda na po ng position ni Google kaya pinestuhan ko na po yan dito i was seeing a divergence so pinasok ko po yan the good thing about eToro is you can copy my trades whatever i'm earning on on my future trades, you will be earning also. Not just me. Mas marami pong po magaling na traders sa akin dito. You can check out other traders. Just click on them dito sa copy people. right? Just click on copy people. And then let's try this guy right here. Last 12 months plus 10% siya. So you can... Let's see. Uh, medyo malapit eh. All right. So si JB Invest, try natin to si 17% siya. Alright, for this month, 0.66% ang gain niya. Uh, this is his stats, alright, statistics niya. He was uh, his positive for last 2018. So makita niyo po yung statistics niya, yung portfolio na pinasukan niya, makikita niyo po. And he has his um, feed, right? Pag nagpo-post yan siya, makikita niyo. So this is very helpful for you. Especially sa mga investors na walang oras na mag-trade, right? You can just copy people instead and meron na kayong instant na fund managers. I can be your fund manager too if you want to. Yan, nagigain na ako for this month. Mag nag-open yan. Hopefully, mag-akyat na si Google. In time soon, ang ganda na ng world. Um, gumaganda na ang market. Especially tayo. Tayo yung leading ngayon. So, check out eToro. Use the, please use the link na nakikita nyo doon sa baba. So, now, we're gonna be talking about Call Financial Platform. Alright, so this is Call Financial Platform. Once you have an account already, ito yung makikita ninyo. Um, medyo marami pong details, especially sa newbies, so baka maguluhan po kayo. But yeah, uh, this is the, um, ito yung parang information nila for what is happening sa PSEI. 0% um, pa yun ngayon kasi wala pang, hindi pa nag-open ang market kasi today's details inalagay nila. All, all, what you call this, all sectors like financial sectors, industrial sectors. Yan, makikita nyo po dyan yung movement. So, yun. So, here are the, um, these are the, what you call this, sige, ipublic ko na lang yung port ko lang magawa eh. Right? Anyways, um, home, uh, these are the uh, places, uh, these are the tabs that you can go to 
uh, ang pinaka-importante dito is itong research. That's why I've been, I am also recommending called Financial for Newbies for the research purposes. Alright, so research, street smart, mutual funds, pwede kayo mag mutual funds trading. Just click on mutual funds. But let's start with home. If you click on home, um, services, dyan yung for forms, FAQs nila, uh, yan, uh, career, if you want to um, change anything, and dito yan. Um, what you can see in this page is, ito yung user, um, ito yung day change, um, kung may gains ka or losses ka within the day, makikita mo po dito. Um, equity value, ito yung amount ng pera na nasa loob ng port mo. Um, last 5 trades, hindi ko lang po ipapakita yan siguro Alright, anyways, um, last research, mga research nila, nag-upload sila January 4 Technical guides, right? So you can click on this, if you click on this, this is what you're gonna see uh, Let me zoom in, ayan Meron sa lang mga recommendations, technical analysis wise Right, so for example, um, PSEI, and ito, si Asia United Bank, AOB BDO uh, Para sa kanila, ang trend is uptrend, so Para ka nila, hold. Hindi na, hindi na bibilhin. Right? Pag uptrend na siya, hold na siya kasi umakit na. Right? Um, per, for example, China Bank, uh, downtrend pa sa kanila, sell into strength. So, uh, pag nag-gain siya, ipa, pinapabenta niya si China Bank. EW, East-West Banking Corporation, downtrend. So, ipa, pinapabenta niya si EW. So, you, this is useful for newbies. If you are, in, especially for investors, these are not for trading. I don't recommend this for trading, but for investors na nakapasok sa mga recommendations nila, pwede nyo po i-follow yan. Um, uh, daily notes, meron sila mga daily na mga linalabas na mga information. This is what it looks like. Or market summary. Uh, mga news na ma, um, maganda. Si RCB, merong magandang news. Uh, Ne, hindi pa to ano, uh, news and share change in shareholdings. So mga makikita niyo po diyan. Medyo maliit lang yung news nila for today eh. Konti lang. Tech Spotlight, eto naman mga recommendations nila. Uh, I mean, overall information na binibigay nila last January 4. This is very informative. Parang blog nila ito. Makikita niyo po mga important spotlights nila diyan. Um, SM, Aboytis, Ayala. So this is very useful also. Right, so that's what you. These are the important things you can see on Call Financial. Okay, very useful for newbies. Right, so at yung news, makita niyo po yung mga latest news. Lalabas po yun jan. Yung call announcement, rights offering. Um, meron jan uh, mga announcements. These are informative. Right, so that's the homepage. Right, um, I don't want to go to market information. Pwede naman dito. I mean, dito sa home. Change profile, downloads, I don't want to go into that anymore. These are very self-explanatory. Pag gumawa kayo ng call account, you can get into this para makita nyo rin uh, ano mangyayari dyan. I just want to uh, I just wanna summarize the platform kung saan ako laging nakatingin. For example, to trades, pwede kayong tumingin sa trade history nyo, sa portfolio nyo here. You, there's a quick link right here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, sh I'll share that to you. So, under the trade, meron dyang enter order. Pag nag-enter order ka, hindi pa open the market, kaya hindi lumalabas. Uh, modify an order. Kung may order ka na na-send na, tapos hindi pa naman na-fulfill, you can modify it here. Right? So, pwede mong i-change yan. And then, trade history. Lahat na na trades mo. Uh, your portfolio. Ito. Uh, oops. Nakita ko. But anyways, yes. Uh, this is my portfolio right now. So, ayan. Nakita nyo na rin eh. So, anyways, this is my public port naman eh. My original port. Yung, ano, uh, yung malaki-laking port is, I keep that private. But this here, at least makikita nyo po yung performance. Meron ako negative 12, meron ako negative negative 17. But these are just test buys. Hindi pa ako nakapag-average down. But, kaya maliit lang ang loss dyan. Because these are just test buys. I just bought malit lang na amount and just dusted it out but yeah uh, that's the this is the port what you're gonna see here so yung buying power mo natira this is your actual balance dito sa uh, these are your positions this is your uh, uh, portfolio value for 83 day change is um, kung may changes yan baka positive or baka negative portfolio gain loss yan so 2.33% yan so makita nyo po dyan um Makita nyo po sa uh, may off hours order. So kahit ano, kahit um, close the market, you can send an order using that one. Ito pinaka-importante guys. You go to the tab for research, fundamentals, technicals, and archive. I go usually for fundamentals and then investment guide. 
And then, this is very useful for me, right? Uh, especially for newbies. This is part of my research also. I always look at the call fair value. This is FV fair value. Kasi isa yan sa bias ko eh. If I look at the stock and then um, I look for its fair value ko andito man. So, it will be very helpful for me. For example, uh, si China Bank, which is in my recommendation today. Before I recommend that, titignan ko po yung fair value niya. Fair value ng China Bank is 365 pesos. Right. This is December 26 nga lang, hindi nila na-update. But 36.5, current price niya is 27, so mas mababa siya sa fair value niya. So if mababa yan sa fair value niya, I will consider buying that kasi at least meron pa siyang ego grow. Right? So ABS-CBN, that's why I've been recommending ABS-CBN kasi 41 po yung fair value niya. 20 pesos pa lang ang presyo ni ABS-CBN. So almost 100% ang kal uh, um, distance niya sa uh, what you call this sa uh, fair value niya so it's very cheap as of the moment so I, I will consider rec recommending that if napakamura ng stock and this is one way of knowing kung mura pa ang stock or not right 20 pesos ang current price niya fair value niya is 41 pesos so napakagin na po ng fair value niya this is very useful for newbies again just go to research fundamentals uh, ayan and then Investment guide. Uy, may alert. Ay, matagal na pala yan. Alright, so investment investment guide. So, makita nyo for investment. So, pwede rin kayong research technicals. And then, makikita nyo po dito. May technical guide. May bullseye. Alright. Um, alright, so technical guide. Ito yung usually na tinitingnan ko rin. Makikita nyo po yung trend mode. If ever mahirapan kayo mag, mag magtingin ng mga trends, makikita nyo po dito uptrend ba siya, sideways or downtrend pa so you can you can use this also but I do my own technical so I don't really look at this, ang tinitingnan ko po lagi dito is this investment guide ng research, right, and mutual funds and so you can go to their mutual funds if you want to right, so quick links, ito yung para mas medyo bambulis, if you want to go to somewhere like a stock, for example, let's go with ISM, right here so makita nyo po ISM uh, Yung bid and ask, um, mga, de mga de details na dito, makikita nyo po dyan. Buyers and sellers, sino mga bumibili at nagbebenta, makikita nyo po dyan during the trading day. Trade prices, charts profile, dividends, news, valuation, so makikita nyo dyan sa stocks. So just click on stocks dito sa upper left. Click on stocks and then um, look for a stock that you want to see. And makikita nyo po yung mga details dyan. Just click on these, um, just click on this information right here. Then if you want to buy, just click on buy. And then automatically lalag lalabas kayo doon sa uh, pupunta kayo doon sa order uh, order setting niya. So uh, there should be a bar uh, um, uh, there should be entry points right here. So, lalagay niyo po makaano niyo bibilhin, ilan bibilhin niyo, GTC or whatever you want to do it. Uh, whatever you want to do. Next is watch list. You can create your own watch list right here. You can add or delete some something sa watch list. So you can edit your watch list here. Um, charting, and my chart sila. So, this is how the chart looks like, which is also good. Pare paras lang naman yung charts na mga, na mga platforms. So, you can use the charting also. Yung chart nila, okay naman. Um, orders, if you wanna create an order automatically, pwede kayo dumerecho dito. And then, view orders, yung mga pending orders yung makikita nyo po dito. And then, lastly, sa quick links is the portfolio para makapunta kayo kaagad sa portfolio niyo if you wanna look at your portfolio. Right, advantage of call. Let's go to the advantages of call. For me, um, I'm a trader, so I cannot really recommend call for trading. But if you're a newbie, at uh, gusto nyo investor lang naman, yeah, call is good. Uh, pwede kayo mag start with call if you, if you want, um, if you consider these things as um, etong research na ito, the investment guide. This is very valuable, so pwede nyo po magamit ito. Kagandahan ni call is you can open for five thousand pesos only, right? So that's the good thing about call. You can start already. Actually, mas bababa pa nga eh. Um, Nag-advertise sila ngayon with this 1,000 pesos, pwede ka nang gumawa ng account, eh, di ba? But I don't recommend that, right? As much as possible nga, magsimula kayo mga around 10K, 8 to 10,000, di ba? So, yun. But yeah, that's the one of the advantage is accessible. Yan. So, ano pa ba advantage ng call para sa akin? Sir Lloyd, may ginagamit po kayong app na nagno-notify kung na-hit na yung... Um, Cut loss and TP via text. Ang ginagamit ko po is 2 Asia na mobile. Ang ginagawa po nila is they will send an email 
to you. So, ino-on ko lang yung notification ko sa Gmail ko. So, I can nanonotify ako. Meron si Chupetot. Meron si Chupetot. Um, libre sa kanila. Happy birthday, sir. Lord. Thank you so much. Um, real meaning of diversification. Night for, nice sport. Kaingit. <laughs> uh, Angelo. Right. Anyways. Um, yun. Um, any, na, let me check if you have any further questions sa discussion natin. If you have any uh you want to share something hi sir Lloyd pareho po tayo nang aabangan din ako ng men blood card habang nagsisilip po <laughs> support hey good luck po sa atin pag hunt <laughs> right. so anyways yan um good morning from dubai good morning everyone yes so um ano pa ba advantage kay call those are the advantage i can think of because uh i am a trader now right so yun lang ang naiisip kong advantage if you are beginners you can consider the research of call right ang ginawa ko kasi is Uh, I created an account hindi po sa call but I wa- I need to d- get research kasi kailangan ko mag-research kaya nag-open ako dati ng ka- aka- call account ng 5,000 lang just to have access to the research but now with the Asia meron na silang magandang research so I, I'm not really using this anymore uh, but yun, linag- uh, meron, meron lang itong laman ngayon because I've been pressured by people before just for ano um, para daw pakita daw ng port and everything so I I thought why not create a public port at least hindi yung entire network ko sa stocks na makikita people can see that I am trading kasi sabi nila hindi nagte-trade yan dati just just to please them right so but anyways yon um disadvantage yan disadvantage let's talk about disadvantage kay call right i'm i'm gonna be honest with you guys right uh, the biggest downfall of call for me is sa sobra namang available niya to the public ang dami ng tao sa call financial um very horrific ang nangyari sa mga traders noon kay call financial especially nung kasagsagan ng pagpagsak ni now nung bumagsak si now so many orders were sent their system froze Right, so that was very traumatic for the traders and daming naipit so uh, uh, raise your hand if naipit kayo right? uh, so that was one of the reasons bakit na- maraming naipit but yeah uh, we've been seeing call doing that whenever yung habulan sa isang stock for example nung si ISM naglalag si call noong nagkabilihan kay ISM so during those times na napaka importante yung nag-aagawan ng mga tao yung mga nakikall na iwan right? nahuli sila So that was that's the disadvantage of call. I say it's good for investors yung hindi naman kayo nag nakikipaghabulan ng mga tao, you can you want to position anytime. That's good for that. But for trading, uh, I don't really like it uh, that much, especially ito isa sa biggest disadvantage that I can find kay call. I hope call addresses this. Um problema kay call is if ever my order na akong na send, right? If ever my order na akong na send. Um If I want to edit it, pag nag-edit ka ng order, ang mai-edit mo lang is the amount, I mean, the number of stocks that you want to change, that you have, right? For example, 10,000 gusto, 10,000 stocks ang gusto mo ibenta, and then you want to edit the order, yung number of stocks lang, yung 10,000, pwede mo maging going 5,000. You can do that. But the most important kasi part of editing an order is the editing the price. Diba? For example, uy, cut loss ko na um, at one, uh, 1.0. So, isend ko ng 1.0. Hala, po, nag 0.98. So, if I edit the order, 1 peso, peso yon hindi ko naman edit to 0.98. So, I have to cancel the order again, create a new order, type everything again, and then 0.98, send huli na ako at bumaba pa yung presyo maging investor ka na so it's really hard for to sell right it's not it's not that uh, it's not that friendly it's not that doesn't make you really quick in selling so pang investor siya talaga number two is when you click on your portfolio like right here the portfolio doesn't change real time right yun yung problema ko dito right um, pag ano lumabas dito hindi nag-change yan for example nag-change yung presyo ng dalawang piso Uh, ang makikita mo sa screen mo, hindi pa rin gumalaw. So, you have to click on portfolio again to refresh it. So, medyo slow nga siya. Yun yung isa sa problema ko kay Call Financial. Also, sa pag nag-order ka, right, pa, yun, pwede na pala mag-order, alas 9 na pala. So, yeah, for example, nag-order ka, ng example, ISM. Ito, ganito. Mag- makikita ka dyan, um, f- um, someone is selling f- uh, at 6.32, 4,000 stocks. Kung gusto mong bilhin yan, pwede mong pwede ka mag-buy, di ba? 
buy, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Ang problema nito is, hindi mo alam na na-change na pala yan. Kasi baka may, na, may bumili na niyan at umakyat. So, you have to refresh it again para makita mo ulit yung bagong, yung bagong, uh, what you call this, bid and ask, right? So, most probably, hindi na ito ang bid and ask na current nila nangyayari. Hindi na ito yung presyo na kikita nyo dito. So, it, you have to refresh it again. It doesn't update real time. So, yun is a problema ko kay Call Financials. That's why I'm saying na Call Financials is not really for trading. Kasi pag nagmumonitor ka ng bid and ask, like these areas right here, paano pag nag-change dyan na significant change, hindi mo hindi naman nag-update siya. Look, look at this ngayon. Um, 4,000 lang yan. Alright, let me try to refresh it. Uh, let me try to go to JFC muna. JFC. And then go back to ISM. ISM. I'm oh, sorry. ISM. Ayun. Um, hindi naman gumalaw eh. <laughs> Anyways, pag gumalaw yan, hindi mag-update automatically. Um... I hope you understand my point. So, baka na, na, nabenta na ito, right? Nabenta na ito, pero hindi mo makikita kung nabenta na yan. It doesn't update real time. Right? Sir Lloyd, parang lilipad si ISM today. Pasilip naman po ng opening niya. Thanks, sir. We'll check that out in a while. Tas projected open ng PCOR. Right? Let's check that out. As a broker or for investor po, okay ang call. Yes. For technicals and trading, delayed po ang call. And for newbies, this is from Gerald. Right? As a broker, for investor po, okay ang call. Yes. Definitely. Very okay ang call naman for investor. For technicals and trading, delayed naman ang call. And for newbie, long-term investment lang dapat. Kasi as a newbie, marami na akong loss, kakahabol. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. Um, so, yun. Um, ayun, nag-update na pala. Uy, they, they, they changed it. Nag-update na rin pala siya ngayon. Right? That's good. Right? So, at least I'm corrected real time. Nag-update na pala siya. Kala ko dati hindi pa ito nag-update. Eh. So, it just updated. I think um, nag-refresh na yung page nila. But doesn't change real time pa rin. I think they have an auto-refresh of the page. Right? So, nag-refresh yung page. But yeah, uh, this are, these are the things that I th I find na hindi gaanong uh, may, medyo may problema ako kay call. Alright? Um, ano pa ba? Um, siguro yun lang. Um, yun yung gusto kong i-share sa inyo. Uh, what, what is my take on call financial? Because I am an investor and a trader at the same time. Yes, yun napaka-useful po ng research ni call. One of the best research teams out there so call so hands down to them that's why i have call financial because of their research but for trading i don't really want to trade using my call financial so ang ginagawa ko dito, dito is i just position trades for example i see a buy, buy signal i just buy it right away hindi ko hindi pa ako makipaghabulan sa bid and ask dyan um good luck <laughs> ayoko ng ganyan if i see na ma, ma, uh, nag um mag cut loss na ako um i try to I try my best to cut loss fast dito, pero mahirap po. So, that's the hard part of call financial. So, your investor, it's good to buy. Uh, good to open a call financial account. But if in the future, gusto nyo mag-trader, I won't recommend call as of the moment for trading. Napakabagal po niya for trading. Right? So, yes, that's it for our topic for today. At least walk through lang naman. Ito yung mga importante na parts sa call financial na kailangan nyo po makita as a uh, uh, for as a newbie right um yun so let's go to my recommendations for the sir cut loss maganda ba gumamit ng GTC from Kevin Wu no 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 don't do that kasi pag nag GTC ka ng cut loss good till cancel pag binabaan mo for example this is ISM di ba ang for example ang cut loss mo is 6. Point, 6. Point, what do you call this um 6. Point, daming buying ah. Ang ganda ng buying ni ISM ngayon na ah. Alright, someone is buying it at 7. Nagagap up si ISM. right So, that's good. Alright, so, um, for example, ang cut loss mo is 6.25. Ngayon, the bidding is 6.30. If GTC mo yan, ma ma malalagay ka pa rin sa, uh, sa ask column. Right? Malalagi ka pa rin sa ask column. Meaning, ikaw yung priority. Uunahin ka agad yan. Diretso, ibibenta yan ng 6.25. Right? So, wala po tayong automatic cut loss, preset cut loss sa PSE. PSE does not allow that. We have to understand that kasi napakanipis lang ng liquidity sa market natin. So, pag may cut loss tayo, automatic, baka parehas ng cut loss lahat, 
mag-crash yung market because of that. Kasi napakanipis lang ng market natin. Yan, okay. Nagre-refresh pala siya every 15 seconds, BMO, from BMO. Thank you so much, BMO, for that information. Yan, nagre-refresh na pala siya. Right, every 15 seconds change yan, Sir Lloyd. Ang setup ko po ngayon, laptop ko, naka-open ng call, tapos ang desktop ko, naka-PSEI chart para updated ang price real-time. Right, that's good. Right. Sa Metron, Lloyd Bacolod po, kailan seminar? So, hopefully in the future. Um, okay na po ba mag-average down kay ISM? Actually, Jennifer, noon ko pa nire-recommend na mag-average down kay ISM nung dip niya pa. So, right now, siguro pwede naman use a breakout strategy. But if you're averaging down, that's that means you're an investor. So, yeah. Uh, as all, for me, napakaganda pa rin ang presyo uh, ni ISM, ni Udena. As if you consider it as a Udena and its future projects. It's still okay. Um... PIP gap up today 1.41. We'll, we'll check that out in a while. Anyways, let's go. We have we're 9:10. It's 9:10. Let's go to my recommendations muna. All right, bilisan natin ito. All right, wala nating oras. Napakadaldal natin. Right. Um recommendations ko po for today is number one, PIP, PIP. Ayun, PIP. Right, PIP. Ayun. Why PIP? Very good volume, right? It's now at 1.37, but overall napakaliit pa rin ng risk ni PIP. That's why I'm recommending it. Current price to its immediate support is negative 2.29% lang ang risk. Uh, you cut loss at around negative 5%. So, still to tolerable risk. Uh divergence here at this area right here, pressure niya is um Hindi eh. Hindi, hindi divergence pala. RSI is starting to go up already. Right? We have a little divergence here at this area. Sideways yung pressure niya. But RSI is starting to go up already. So, we have a little divergence. Con uh, constricted Bollinger Band. So, napaka-stable na po ng pressure na yan. Very solid support. And then, volume is starting to pick up already. So, this is accumulation. People are already starting to accumulate PIP. This is what the chart is telling us. So, I believe, okay, si PIP. Right? So, sino po ang nakita ni um, opening ni PIP? 1.41 na. So, medyo mag-gap up si PIP. So, uh, if ever mag-gap up yan, wag nyo pong hahabulin. Just use a breakout strategy. Um, there's an immediate resistance here at this area. So, if ever mag-gap up yan, mag-breakout strategy na lang po kayo for PIP. Right? But, Amateur R guys, remember yung re lesson ko sa inyo about amateur R, wag po kayo makipaghabulan sa around the first hour of trading kasi napaka volatile pa ng market doon. ABSP, I'm recommending ABSP today, good volume, right? Engulfing pattern backed up with good volume. So this is a good price overall. Look at this very beautiful divergence. Nakita niyo naman yung engulfing na, 'di ba? So I'm going to remove the Bollinger bands. Um look at the trend. Pababa ang presyo. But RSI is already going up. So this is showing us that this bottom has started the momentum already. Right? So mas mas healthy na po itong bottom na ito. And then ABSP has been, is, ABSCBN uh, overall is a good company naman. Eh. So yeah, ABSP is looking good. Napakaganda ng technical analysis ni ABSP. Ngayon, um, let me pull up Bollinger Band again. Next recommendation ko is si CHIB, China Bank. Yes, downtrend siya, but... Um, we're starting, you're seeing the uh, divergence already, right? Um, so this is a good bottom already for CHIB. I think this is a good bottom for China Bank, right? Um, negative 4 lang naman third quarter niya, so not really that significant. So it's starting to show good momentum. Napakatindi po ng divergence ni CHIB. From this point to that point, yan. So, and then we're seeing good buy signals right here already. We have an engulfing pattern right here. We have a stabilization right here. Makaganda pa rin. Um, immediate resistance is there. But, yeah, you can use a breakout but overall, napakaliit pa rin ng risk ni China Bank. Right? Negat support is just negative 2%. So, pwede pa rin hambulin yan. Um, you can use a breakout para mag-double yung support ninyo. Dalawa ang support ninyo. The breakout support and the second support. Ayan. So, China Bank. I'm recommending China Bank. Also, Picor. Ayan. Si Picor naman. Guys, Picor, I mean, remove Bollinger Bands, right? Bollinger Bands, kasi hindi ko gagamitin si Bollinger Bands on this, uh, on this technical analysis. So here, we have a double bottom, dalawang bottom. Uh, sideways the bottom, sorry. Right, we have a sideways bottom. The prices 
kahit pula yung nakikita nyo, nakikita nyo yung price action, nag-bounce na siya, kahit pula yan, right, it closed higher still. So, positive pa rin yan, kahit green yan. Right? If you want, uh, ang pinakamaganda dito is double bottom and it's backed up by volume. Kahit pula yung volume na yan, that, um, it's still volume, the price is um, not moving. But the volume is already increasing. Nakikita nyo po, umakyat na yung volume niya. This is a bullish signal. This is a very good support. I'm, um, please ready your screenshots. I'm gonna show you something. This is called the volume, price and volume relationship. Right, so price and volume relationship. Let me zoom in. Right, so right here. Um, if there is no change in the price, the volume is increasing. That means it's a bullish sign. That's sign of accumulation. Right? So, yun yung nakikita ninyo kay, um, kay Picor. Yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Actually, nag-increase yun eh. Increasing yung volume. I mean, increasing yung price na napaka-konti. But the price, the volume is also increasing. That's bullish pa rin. Increase in price supported by volume. Let's go back to the chart. And the price has increased. But overall, it's not moving anymore. Right? But the volume is already increasing. That's a bullish signal. So this is a good support right here. Very solid support for Picor. Very good company, right? Uh, medyo negative lang sila sa third quarter. But this is showing us a good divergence signal. Pataas na yung, uh, pataas na yung RSI niya. Napakaganda ng volume. Good support. So that's why I'm recommending Picor. Very low, very low risk position right now si Picor. So pwede nyo pong itest by yan. Si Picor. Next is EEI. I'm recommending EEI for today. EEI. At EEI. Number one, EEI has been very consistent in their earnings. It gave us third quarter plus 132%. Second quarter plus 52%. First quarter niya medyo negative but just negative 2%. Annual earnings plus 198%. Those are very significant numbers. So last year, maganda rin yung numbers niya. So these are very good numbers by EEI. And these are very good prices EEI is go, giving us already. This is a solid support right here. Ang ganda ng takbo ng support niya dito. Right? And EEI's price action is already bouncing. Andiyan na yung bounce na EEI. Overall, this is a good support area. Napakamura pa po ni EEI. I'm recommending EEI. Uh, the risk is it's just negative 3 away from support. So most probably negative 6 yung risk You can bargain for a little bit if you want to. But overall, napakaganda po ng position ni EEI. Right? So pwede nyo pong pasukin yan. Right? So EEI, I'm recommending that for today. Next is PLC. Right? Guys, um, this is more into technical analysis ha. O sabi nyo, hindi ako marunong mag-fundamentals. I'm not that good at fundamentals. I know fundamentals. I am... Um, not that really good in fundamentals unlike those na mga nasa financial institutions talaga but I am representing people like you I'm telling you you can excel even if hindi po kayo financial ano talaga yung nasa institutions talaga right you can still excel in trading uh, even if you're just casual a casual trader like me right I do my own research and everything you can do that right so yan um, PLC um, Bollinger Band triggers, there it is. And then we are at MA20. Pwede nyo po testing yan. PLC overall is still very good. Right? Napakamura pa rin ang presyo niyan sa PLC. So, PLC, um, you can check that out today. Alright, M-wide. Um, sir, index po please. Sir, gap up po si Picor 7.7 .7 po from 7.70. Alright, right, right, that's good. Um, gap, gap up ang opening ni Picor. Right, very good. Thank you for letting us know. M-wide naman. M-wide is showing us a good support right here at this area. Right there. So, that's a good support for M-wide. Overall, M-wide is still very cheap. Ang ganda po ng mga projects ni M-wide. So, you can, you can consider getting in M-wide if you want to test out that support. Right? So, M-wide is still cheap. Pwede papasukin yan. Next is Ferro. Sa so, mga recommendation ko. Um, Ferro naman, yan, we are seeing good price action after this uh, Bollinger Band trigger, very solid move. We are seeing a pullback and then there it is. Very good price action, paakyat na yung presyo. You can see that the buying is there already. Starting to build up. You can use MA20 as your support for Ferro. Pwede nyo po pong pasukin yan. URC, eto guys, isa, isa sa mga recommendations ko, especially for newbies. Check out URC. I recommended URC yesterday. I will still recommend it today. Tried to trigger the upper Bollinger Band yesterday. So, that's a good sign. Nag-recover lang siya. Bumalik lang siya ulit. But look at the volume. It's already starting. 
This is an opportunity. Huwag nyo po i-miss ang buy opportunity na ito for URC. Overall, URC is still good to buy. Right? Napakamura pa rin URC. Very stable price right now. You can test out the support for URC. Right? So URC, I'd go for URC. Sa lahat ng mga picks ko ngayon, PCOR, URC, and um, paborito ko dito is URC, EEI, PCOR, and PIP. Yun yung gusto mong masukin ngayon. PIP, lagay ko sa comments, PIP, PCOR, if you're gonna ask me, sino ang pipiliin ko dito, PCOR, uh, PIP, URC, and EEI. Yan po yung gusto kong piliin ngayon, right? So, those will be my top 4 if you want to ask me sa mga recommendations ko. Si AEV, um, AEV, I'm recommending AEV. Antay po ng breakout kay AEV. It attempted a breakout already yesterday. So, baka mag-breakout yan ulit today. So, if it breaks out, that will be your entry point. So, AEV, tapanoorin nyo po yan then. Also, si RLC, on breakout, abangan nyo po ang breakout ni RLC. It attempted a breakout yesterday but failed I think maybe it's gonna do a breakout again today. But RLC overall is still very cheap. Yan, RLC. Very good company. Napakamura pa rin. If you wanna enter it, use a breakout strategy. Baka mag-breakout yan today. But wait for the breakout. Yan. So those are my picks for today. Uh, it's 9.20. Bilisan ko po yung mga requests ninyo. May request about IDC. Um, yan. IDC naman... Um, mag nag umpisa pa ng pullback. So I don't wanna recommend it yet. Um, this is hard to tell right now. I really want for IDC to pull back to MA20 before I want to recommend it. But yeah, uh, IDC might go up anytime soon. Problem ko lang is medyo risky yung position niya ngayon. I don't want to recommend IDC yet. I'm waiting for it to really put, go near MA20. So it's really hard to call IDC, especially in those positions right now. Baka huwag tuloy-tuloy. PX naman. PX, guys, that's weakness right there. That's a red bar. Uh, but still above the momentum, so it's still a good momentum for PX. But overall, I want you guys to be position traders, diba? Um, if you're a newbie, if you want to try trading, mag-position trading muna kayo. Now, my question is, for these kinds of position, is this a good position or not? Right? The answer is no. It's not a good position. So, you know the answer. It's not good to enter in this stock right here. Antay niyo po yung pullback kay PX. Ang ganda ng movement ni PX. Just wait for it to do a pullback and then let's see if magtuloy-tuloy yung uptrend niya. But these are exaggerated movements already. We're expecting for it to pull back anytime soon. So, um, um don't, don't, wag po kayo maiinggit dyan kay PX, right? AGI, yan. Si AGI naman, uy, uh, huh? So, AGI, starting to go sideways. Let, let's see if mag-sustain yung sideways ni AGI. Pag nag-bounce yan, baka we can see a good support. Maybe we can consider getting in, um, uh, what do you call this, AGI. Uh, PSE Warzone, kung gusto nyo po makita opening, tingnan nyo po sa pahina ko. Alright, Sophia and Solem, SMC, Sir Aba po, STR. Alright, let's check that out in a while. Unahin natin yung mga nauna. Next is SCC and si Semirara. Let's check out SCC. Ayun, si SCC umakit na. Alright, that's good for SCC. Uh, medyo ano na ito eh. Uh, you can use a breakout. Nag-breakout naman siya sa immediate resistance niya. You can use a breakout if you want to enter SEC. Um, good naman. This is backed up by volume. I really want for it to do a pullback first before you want to get in. But you can use a breakout strategy. Baka lumipad ito ngayon eh. If you want to get in SEC, overall, it's a very good price right now. So, okay pa rin. Um, ito nga naging ayoko eh. Negative 79. That's why I don't, really don't want to recommend SEC. For the meantime, laki ng negative nila for this month. So, I can't recommend SEC. It's against my, what to call this? It's against my... Uh, yung tawag dyan yung bias ko right I can minsan I go out from my bias but only if I see a very good signal to buy look like PIP right si PIP it's against my bias um, PIP has been showing us negative numbers but sobrang ganda ng technical analysis so why not test it out anyways maliit naman yung risk eh. so yun you can do that now, Tell naman I've been recommending Tell I told you that this is a good support for Tell it's still sustaining the support. Um, di ko lang alam kung kailan, hanggang kailan ito matutulog. So, let's see. Let's see. If you wanna test out the support, pwede nyo i-test ang support. We are seeing a divergence at this area. So, it's telling us that this support is good. So, pwede nyo pong i-test yung support na yan. Um, sige, ang daming, uh, ang daming questions about ISM. Can someone tell me um, the, what you call this, the 
projected opening ni ano ni ni ISM ngayon. So ISM, if you really want to enter ISM, you can use a trade uh, breakout uh, breakout strategy. Nag breakout naman siya sa immediate resistance niya. At I've been telling you to get in ISM on this trend line right here. And ayan na si ISM lumilipad na kung kailan nag breakout dun dun pa papasukin. Right dito sa dasabi ko sa inyo magbodega kayo, di ba? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, ha, sa so, nalalamunan ko. Um, AC. Let's go for the AC. Last two na lang guys kasi wala natin oras. Right, AC. Um, <laughs> you're welcome PSC Warzone. Basta tulungan naman tayo dito eh. Um, we're into healthy, helping people. So, as long as we're helping people, hindi kayo nag-advertise ng ano ninyo. That's okay. Uh, yun. Um, Ayala Corporation. Yan. It's AC guys. Dito ko ni-recommend yan. Huwag nyo na po papasukin yan ngayon kasi may resistance na tayo dyan. If it does a pullback and makes a higher low, I'd say let's buy it again. But right now, I don't wanna recommend it. Dito ko na-recommend si AC guys. Doon yung pa dapat pinapasok. Lastly lang, Pasensya na if hindi ko masasagot lahat ng charting. Si Meg naman, yun si Meg, nasa resistance. Huwag muna yung pasukin si Meg, nasa taas yan. Alright, um, uh, MPI. MPI is nearing resistance dito. Sinasabi natin, MPI, just get in dito sa baba. Eh. So, dapat dito sa baba si MPI pinapasok. I think MPI is gonna do well already in the future. But right now, I don't want to enter MBI kasi medyo mataas na risk natin. Alright, 6.37 for ISM. Right, that's good. Alright, so good job sa mga pumasok kay ISM. Ah, uh, That's it for today. Uh, yun lang muna for today guys. Naubusan tayo ng oras. We'll talk more about this tomorrow. If kailangan nyo po ng tulong sa charting, join our chat room. Right? Download Discord. And then, dito po sa chat room natin. Go to the video description. May Discord link po dyan. Join the chat room. Marami pong gustong tumulong dito. Right? Uh, you can join the chat room para mas matulungan ko po kayo sa chartings if you have any further question. That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. I hope marami po kayo natutunan ngayon. Right? Even if just discussing the charts and everything. Uh, as always, as always, let's get rich together. Bye, guys. Enjoy your Monday.